Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Feed My Sheep, Earthquake Reports and more. I'm Terry Rempel. It's still the 8th and now we're finally getting to the new Madrid. It's a big three-part program today. I've actually broken it up so uh, we can have shorter programs. We're beginning with South and North Carolina in this program and we I'm calling it the Carolina Shift just because why not. And uh, so before we begin, all of our programs are dedicated to our Heavenly Father's service. We'll certainly begin with a prayer and feel free to join us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your care of us through all things, your careful consideration of uh, every aspect of our lives, um, your deep knowledge of everything that goes on. We know that nothing is hidden before you. And... Uh, you even, in the Bible, say that you know the number of hairs on our heads, and those change every day. So it's it's quite amazing, the details that you know about our, our lives. Nothing is hidden, as we say. And we give you all the glory for this program, and we thank you for continuing to protect it. Jesus, we thank you for shepherding us um, in so many ways, um, not just in this program, but in our lives daily. There are so many things to keep up with the, with the many, many changes in the world today. Um, great, uh, great birth pangs are being seen of uh, great tribulation to come, and end times are certainly approaching. And we thank you for all the um, understandings that we receive that we may prepare for all that comes. And we thank you for your protection as well in what comes. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the voice of God that you bring, that still quiet voice, as well as the gifts that you bring. Um, and understanding that you restrain in your own way all evil through an act of conscience, that conscience is more than just a, a simple voice in our head, but it is the voice of God in our head as well, um, reacting to how we behave. And we understand when there is no conscience, there is great evil. So we thank you for continuing to give us understanding of many things. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're beginning with the South Carolina shift. Here we are at the farm at one lane. I don't actually remember where this is, but here we are. We've got a shift across the top and a shift at the bottom. This is on the fourth. That was the third. Um, so this is seismogram number one on the fourth. So we've got uh, two 12-hour periods. These are 12 hours per seismogram, and it's showing uh, shifts. And we don't normally have big shifts at farm at uh, farm on, at one lane. So this is Bird, South Carolina. Not normally an active place, and that's why we're showing it today. Um, so on the third, and shifting uh, a lot of activity. On the 4th, it had even more. So this would be the first seismogram of the 4th, beginning at midnight. And these are small earthquakes. And these, as far as I know, were not reported. And we've got another series of small ones down here. And these are just going to be in the uh, under 2.0 range. But uh, still significant, reportable size. So we're having earthquakes in... South Carolina that are have not been reported or are are not being reported. Lake Jocasey on the fourth had some activity as well, and Joc Lake Jocasey is not normally a very active area. And there we are. It's nice that these seismograms open up a little larger, so you can see what's going on. And here you see that series of um, earthquakes coming across here that we looked at on the other seismogram. So that's off in the distance. These are propagating two distant sites. So that's those up here. So that establishes that these are in fact at least 2.0 earthquakes in size. Here at the Citadel, a real stuttering fault shift across this site. You can see it here in red. And it's bang, bang, bang. There's uh, we're we're gonna count our way across this red line and see how many small earthquakes there are in succession here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
that's ah, more of a tremor. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's seventeen earthquakes that are in the one point five to two point zero range, um, right there. And then there's three more in blue here. There's another one in blue there. So that's twenty one. There's another one here that might just be a fault shift that's not felt lower, um, uh, more of a lower frequency. But regardless, there's there's over 20 earthquakes going through the Citadel, and certainly nobody's been reporting that. And here at the Citadel on the 4th, we see more earthquakes. We see them down at the bottom here. This will light up pretty quick here. So we've got one, two, three. Four. There's five more in the 2.0 um, range, and then there's a couple more up here. So there are some significant activity clusters of earthquakes that are not being reported, and those are uh, those are on the fourth. So we've got uh, 20, uh, 23 there. We've got another six, seven, eight there. That's 31. We've got 32, three. 38, 39, 40, 41. We got over 41 earthquakes already unreported in South Carolina. There's another one in Hodges, quite separate. So that's 42. In Elgin, what have we got? We've got a bunch more. That's 43, 44. These are larger. These are into the 2.5, 3.0 range. And Elgin on the, so that was Elgin on the 31st. So I went back to find these. I have some back data that I can access, but look at how busy Elgin has been. Here we are on the second half of the 31st, and another good sized earthquake in the uh, 2.7, 2.8 range at least. Another smaller one up here. Tremors throughout the day as well. Very, very busy activity in uh, the Elgin area, and this is continuing. This is now the first, the first seismogram of the first. 2.0, 2.0, uh, maybe 2.2, something like that, 2.2, 2.3, and uh, 2.9 to 3.0 in this case. And then tremors throughout the page. That's a lot of activity in Elgin. I don't know why it's so active there, but it is that active there. And here we are on the second seismogram of the first with more earthquake activity, more tremors. I've explained enough sizes that I don't need to repeat this. You can see we've got 2.0, 1.9-ish, um, and uh, near 2.45 uh, at least here showing on this. Um, Jenkinsville, so that's that's the activity level on Elgin up to the 4th. Very, very busy site. I expect it's con continuing there. Jenks Jenkinsville on the 4th. Some small earthquake activity through here as well. Distant. It's showing it not at the site, but picking up distant activity. Pauline on the 4th. We don't usually see any activity at Pauline, so I'm show, showing you Pauline now. And Sumter, South Carolina is normally a pretty quiet site. This is on the 4th. We had a flare-up of, act, flare of activity there with tremors um, throughout, and some larger tremors, one small earthquake as well. Kings Mountain, Blacksburg, South Carolina. This is uh, this seismogram is set a slight bit over amplitude, but look at the activity. You can see the jump. Um, so on the fourth, this is the uh, first seismogram of the day, and a string of earthquakes across here. We saw this at other sites in blue on the fourth. Here we see it in green, the next line down, and we see more on the black line, third line down, uh, 15 minutes per line. So that's 45 minutes of strings of earthquakes. Well, a little short of 45 minutes, about 30, 38 minutes. But there's more tremor activity down below, large tremors. So a lot of activity through South Carolina, and especially in the Elgin area. So that's uh, if you're feeling it in Elgin, you'll know why, or in the Elgin area. Now, 
some of this activity tracked up to North Carolina as well. So we'll track it through there. Murphy sometimes gets busier, but uh, it's showing small tremor through here. These would not be felt. Roland, North Carolina. Now this site did jump. It had a big fault shift. This is on the fourth, first seismogram of the day. So this happened uh, about eight o'clock in the morning, stretching through till after uh, after 11 o'clock. So there was a slight bit more on the next page, but that was pretty much all of it at North, North Carolina. Roland, North Carolina. So that's a big shift through Roland. Now, though that's not felt as a large earthquake because it's lower frequency, but look at the duration of it. Um, each line is 15 minutes. And we've got um, two and a half minutes there. We've got two minutes there. We've got the majority of the line in blue here. So that's, uh, that's about 10 minutes. All of the red lines, so that's 25 minutes. And then these two sections. So we're, we're pretty close to 30 minutes of fault shift activity through Roland. That's a lot of fault shift. So that's major fault shift activity. Some of that may have been felt. I'm not sure if it got into a high enough frequency range where it gave you a jolt or if it was a smoother move that you don't feel. Dogwood Stamp Mountain, North Carolina. This is the second um, seismogram on the second. Lots of tremors up in the mountain. And then now you've got to be thinking when it's up in the mountains, is that magma infill or is that false? We can't say for certain at this point. Um, Dogwood Stamp Mountain on the third, first seismogram of the third, increasing tremors. And now this is starting to look more like magma now. Not just fault shift, but magma. Potential of magma showing reactivation at Dogwood Stamp Mountain in North Carolina. And we have seen reactivation in those mountains already. On previous programs, we've shown the uh, seismic evidence of that. And we've established that there's some associated tree kill. Um, Dogwood Stamp Mountain on the 4th. This is the first um, seismogram of the day. 12 hours. And here we are at uh, Wine Spring Bald in North Carolina on the 3rd. And the 4th is almost as busy. So the 4th is almost as busy as this. And that's a huge increase in the amount of activity at Wine Spring Bald in North Carolina. So there's the, uh, rather than showing you one day that's multiple days showing you the activity um, between the 31st and the 4th. And it's significant activity. Uh, so as much as uh, we need to focus on um, California and the big subduction event that is ongoing there, we also need to keep an eye on other parts of the world. So this is North and South Carolina. Um, and what we're trying to do here on this uh, program is shorten it up a little bit so we can give you uh, the parts in your area. You can pick and choose which ones you want to see. So this is the two-state part. We're going to come back with a second part of the New Madrid uh, or showing up with the New Madrid next. Um, so we're going to go across Georgia and, uh, and north up the New Madrid. And uh, we'll see you for that program. Another short program. This is a three-part um, covering all of central and eastern U.S. Um, so we'll see you shortly. If you like we're what we're doing, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share us with your friends. Um, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Be blessed, and bye for now.